Hello everyone, I'm The Guest, and I'm going to actually go over something as a pseudo-tutorial today. I'm going to go over how Plug works in Star Allies. Uh, Plug is an interesting character, I think, because his main mechanic is the plasma mashing, akin to Kirby Superstar, Robobot, a bunch of other games, and even like Spark got it later on. But I think it makes for a very interesting uh, character movement tech, and everything involved with like mashing and that's something I'm all about, so I want to give you guys, like, some information on how to, like, properly mash with this guy. Get your button puts out fast. And just, like, go fast with him. So, part one with, like, Plug, just knowing what he does. We're just going to go with some basics. About four inputs will give you the second level charge here. About twelve will give you the third level. But beyond the third level, there's actually, like, extra ch uh, charge you can technically store, so that'll allow you to use your teleport move up to four times. Otherwise, you'll need to wait for this level, oh, sorry, this level, middle level here, which gives you plasma arrow as well. I got that out of order, sorry, so what you want to get is plasma arrow. I don't know what that's called, let's just look that up. <laughs> plasma laser, and plasma wave is beyond that. So once you have Plasma Wave, you can just mash a little bit more to get some more charge and fast, generally. Uh, for movement in this game, and mashing in general, what I like to use is the uh, Nintendo Switch controller itself, with the little dock that it comes with. Um, generally, D-pad, I think, is the fastest way to mash. You get multiple buttons, and you can like do a few different personal techniques to like mash quickly. So with the circle, but... The circle wheel, whatever the f was analog stick, yeah, that's it. Uh, with the analog stick, you can just rotate, and you'll get charged fairly quickly, but not as much as you would with the good D-pad technique. Good D-pad technique consists of mashing as many buttons as you can as fast as possible, but there's actually a cap to it. So it takes about half a second for each like phase of Plug's animation to come up, so level one charge there, and then level 2 charge, there's no, no, like, no delay whatsoever. But with level 3 charge, it actually takes a little bit longer. You're going to still be charging up beyond level 3 to like have extra charge for the 4 teleport spark move that we're going to like use for a lot of movement stuff in this run. So generally, you want to find a way to get to that real quick. And you just got to mash fast. My personal like take on mashing quickly is like using up left, down right, or up, up left, up right, down left, or up left, down right, and then just alternating your thumb between the two very rapidly. And then you'll be able to get spark very, very quickly. You can just like mash all four buttons at once if you find a technique like that. You can even use the left hand if you want to like get very technical with it, but <laughs> goodness gracious, I don't think I can like get spider hands for this game. Anyone can mash both of these. This is technically possible, but D-pad takes precedent. Anyway, what does this all mean when you put it put it together? Uh, well, it means you can just like zip around the screen very rapidly, and generally you just move fast. Also, what I didn't mention before is that the A button, when you're holding a direction, actually counts for spark gathering. So you can actually use that only with plug. Kirby doesn't get that to generate extra spark. So like. Optimal move movement will look something like that. Uh, general strategies for level 1. I can go over some stuff for that. Generally, you're going to want to like get four, 3 to 4 friends before the end. Like, even though Plug is fast, if you get Meta Knight and Fire, it's still faster. And for movement in the air, if you want to try and extend your time in the air, you can actually do a heart. And do some more mashing while you're doing that, instead if you don't want to jump. Like... If you do get tired of this, and you will get tired, you can just like switch between this, this, whatever technique you're comfortable with, and generally just go fast. So yeah, there's not too much to say beyond that. Plug's just a really good character in Star Allies for speedrunning. His mode's a little long, like most modes. I'm personally of the opinion that the DLC modes are much more polished. So that's just me. But I think Plug could make a very fun, rewarding, challenging run if anyone's interested in trying that out. So, thank you for watching. Good, good luck if you decide to do runs of this.